welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be my fasted cardio routine. So I mentioned this video in my how to lose belly fat video Yeah, that I just recently posted because fasted cardio is something that really helped me when it came to belly fat. It's by no means something you have to do. Honestly guys, I always want you to do your own research. I always want you to listen to your bodies and what works for you, but this is something that I don't know, just I can't explain how good it makes me feel. Like, first of all, working out first thing in the morning just feels amazing, but you feel so light. Second reason why I like to do fasted cardio, and I really think it helped my stomach area, especially with fat, is because your body doesn't have calories to burn when you're doing fasted cardio. So it has to burn energy, and stored energy is fat. So that's kind of the reason why I like doing fasted cardio, and a lot of other people do. Now just something to note, Fasted cardio is not the only way to lose fat and not the only way to lose weight. Obviously you want to listen to your body. If it's something you really don't like doing and you feel sick when you do it, then don't do it. Me, I feel great. I actually feel sick when I eat before I work out and my body just does not like that. I could feel like I'm going to throw up if I eat a big meal and then go try to work out. So obviously you want to listen to your body. The best thing about dieting and living a healthy lifestyle and working out is you customize it to what you like doing. You never have to do anything you don't want to do or listen to somebody and that's what they do. You have to follow exactly what they do because I don't follow what anybody else does. I just like wake up and decide like, what do I want to do? I do fasted cardio between three and four days a week, but for the most part, three days. On a good week, I'll do four times, but for the most part, it's three days a week for like 12 to 15 minutes, and then one day is a little bit longer, but I will get into that in a second. Okay, so the first day of the week that I start my fasted cardio is on Sunday. I take a class called Body Attack, which a lot of you guys already know, and it's very similar to the workout insanity that a lot of people do at home, except Body Attack is something you do in a classroom, and instead of just like running in place and stuff, you do run around the room, and it's kind of like boot camp style too, you know, we do burpees, and we do jumping jacks, and running, and push-ups and sit-ups, so it's a total body workout. So if you do want to see how that that class looks, I can't even spit out the words. If you do want to see a video on my body attack class and what I do in the class, then just click right here and it'll also be down in the description bar and you can watch that after this video. The reason why I didn't film it for this video is because there's a few narcs in my body attack class. They're like, Sam's been bringing a camera and like, I got in trouble, so yeah. Out of all the days I do fasted cardio, this one is by far the longest because it is a class. It's 50 minutes and I just stay for the whole time and I eat right after. So anybody that was wondering, I do eat right after. I'm starving and I just feel really good. I just, I cannot do that class with something in my stomach. I feel like, Ugh. The next day that I do fasted cardio, I go on the treadmill for 12 to 15 minutes. What I like to do is I put the speed up to 2.5, and then I change the incline to 15, which is the highest that it goes. This intensifies the workout since we're only working out 12 to 15 minutes. It's not that long, so we want to get the most out of our workout. a great workout whether you're doing that first thing in the morning or if you're doing that in the afternoon or night it's a great way to kind of switch up your treadmill routine instead of just running on the treadmill which I can't do because it really hurts my knees but if you can't walk with the resistance or incline all the way up just you know start with it low and then just keep going up and even if you can't do it the full 15 or 12 minutes whatever you're doing you could just put it down and up when you're doing it. Sometimes I do that. If I'm sore from body attack or another workout that I did or squats or something, then I just keep, you know, I'll go from 15 and then I'll try, you know, 12 and then I'll go back up. So you just play around with it and yeah, it's a great workout and it lifts the booty. And the last thing I do is an at home first thing in the morning. I just throw on my sweats. I put the timer on for 15 minutes and that's what I do. I'm starting out with jumping jacks. Then I move into high knee runs. And everything you're gonna see here, it's not about the amount of times I'm doing each workout, it's that I'm working out for 15 minutes first thing in the morning.
Jack it up. cardio routine it's nothing crazy but I thought that I would share this with you and I hope you guys have a wonderful day let me know if you do fasted cardio and for how long and what you do I would love to know and maybe I could try some of the stuff out so have an awesome day and I'll see you guys soon bye